Water. The common denominator in all of us is the cornerstone to our health and longevity. Ionized alkaline water is one of the most critical preventative health advances of our generation. It is one of the most beneficial substances available to the human body. For over the last 40 years, the Japanese and Koreans have enjoyed the powerful utility of alkaline ionized water and its miraculous properties. Did you know? While ionized alkaline water is relatively new in the United States, it has been a mainstay in Japan for over 40 years and is the only water product or technology officially approved for its health merits by the Japanese Ministry of Health and Welfare, the agency that is the equivalent to the FDA in the United States. Here in the United States, the amount of competition in the bottled water industry is testimony to the fact that people recognize it is essential that they find superior drinking water. What they don't recognize is that the bottled water industry is deluged by a myriad of products that try to lay claim to assisting our health issues. The actual impact on our bodies from drinking these acidic beverages, including almost every popular bottled water, is shocking to say the least. So once I put the, the drops in, um, these beverages will turn a certain color. And the, so red being the most acidic, acidic violet being uh, the strongest alkaline. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and put these drops in and we'll see what we find. That is, I would call that orange, so that's around the 3.5 range, that's definitely red, probably closer to 2. Mm, reddish orange, so maybe the high twos. Kind of a dark orange, I'd give that maybe a 3 pH. Um, and then you can see these sodas, I'm sorry, the purple is red, probably 2, 2.5 and a half on the pH scale. And then the yeah, is right around the same spot. And I'll do this, whoa, spill that, I'll do the same thing with the alkaline water. And you can see that is the exact opposite. Okay, so this is what we want the water to look like. Over the last 30 years, I've been studying the impact of the foods we eat, the liquids we drink, on the delicate pH balance of the fluids of the body, which are ideally balanced, slightly alkaline, on a pH scale that goes from 0 to 14 at 7.365. Now, uh, that delicate pH balance is so critical that any movement uh, too far to the right, if it goes too high or it goes too low, we feel these, these impacts in the way that we feel on our energy levels. Uh, in fact, a pH that drops down to approximately 6.9, you would go into cardiac arrest. So it doesn't have to move much. And so the body does everything it can to maintain that delicate balance. Again, alkaline water what that does is it dissolves these, this acidic coating and then allows these acid-bound toxins to be excreted through our several different eliminatory channels. Being a nutritional microscopist, the single most important thing that I have found to achieve optimal health is to drink a high pH ionized water. Nothing is more important to our health than a properly hydrated body and research shows that most diseases stem from our failure to drink enough water. Did you know? In his book, Your Body's Many Cries for Water, international researcher, author, and advocate of the natural healing power of water, Faradun Badmanhalij, points to the simple truth that dehydration can cause disease. And the solution for prevention and treatment of dehydration-produced diseases is water intake on a regular basis. Once you understand the most effective way to hydrate your body is to consume micro-clustered water that is more readily absorbed into your cells, you will be well on the path to hydration and prevention of dehydration-produced diseases. drinking more water, but I also don't have to drink as much on a hot day to hydrate myself. It seems to be, I get to the point where I'm actually absorbing it better. And I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physicist, I'm not going to start to explain how that happens, but I'm a skeptic and when I read this I was a little, you know, leery of it. But when I started using it, then I started realizing the benefits and I go, you know, this is actually working. Um, so I'm, I'm a diehard fan, I'm, I'm a true believer in this. I was introduced to ionized water about eight months ago and it quickly became my body's best friend. 
Some of the things that I've noticed personally is I have increased energy, my digestion has improved, my skin is clearer, I have greater mental clarity, and my body feels really hydrated all the time, especially when I'm doing my intense workouts. Basically, I have a greater sense of overall well-being since I've been drinking ionized water, and it's the greatest gift I've given to my body in a long time. It has to be purified. It has to be energized or alkalized. It has to contain the hydroxyl ions uh, and uh, saturated with these, these electrons. I call it electron-rich wor uh, electron water. And uh, it's got to be void of, of, uh, of elements that are going to be uh, uh, acidifying and, and contribute to more congestion and breakdown of the body. So we need pure water. The water has to be filtered. It has to be energized. We have to increase its electrical potential. We need to break down the clustering effect, which is very simple when we remove the acid, because as I said earlier, acid causes the molecules of water to stick together. We can break those down into smaller molecular states so that the water is wetter. So we're looking for uh, more bioavailable water, water that can permeate the cell membranes. Our most important nutrient the most prevalent nutrient in our body is water. Certainly, books are written, and uh, there's a tremendous amount of research on water. Water does many things, just one of which, water escorts oxygen into our cells and into our tissue. Alkalized water is far more effective in escorting oxygen into our tissue. Water that has been ionized and where the microclusters have been reduced from 13, 11 to 13 molecules um, per water unit down to about six molecules per water unit. Goes into our cells and tissues far more efficiently, doing several things, including escorting oxygen in, escorting negative ions in, like the OH hydroxyl ion, and neutralizing the positive ions throughout our body. I relied on the two current pillars of Western medicine. One pillar being extensive scientific research. Again, I cited over 700 research studies. The other pillar being extensive clinical experience. I've been a therapist for over 39 years now, and I also interface with the other best known therapists in the country on boosting immunity and detoxification. All of that lends me to a great amount of excitement about ionized alkalized water. Another vital benefit of drinking ionized alkalized water is in dissolving the positive ions and in dissolving the acid coating on our organs and glands. It allows these organs and our organs and glands to be much more functional. All free radicals and acidic waste cells have a positive charge, and we need the negatively charged water molecules from the ionized water to bind to the positively charged molecules and remove them from our bodies, hence the term scavenger water. It seeks out the positively charged free radicals, binds to them, and actually removes them from your body, which is huge. While you can remineralize your water, does your water have the power of the negatively charged ORP? ORP is oxygen reduction potential. All free radicals and all acidic molecules have a positive charge, and the negative charge allows the ionized water molecule to bind to the positively charged molecule or free radical and remove it. Water has a very low atomic weight and when it is ionized, it becomes the most absorbable antioxidant known. To ionize means to gain or lose an electron. Ionization process takes an electron from one oxygen molecule and transfers it to another oxygen mo molecule. That now carries an extra electron and which now becomes a hydroxyl ion. An abundance of negatively charged hydroxyl ions gives you a pH above 7.0. A deficit of these electrons gives you a pH below 7.0, and a balance of equal amounts of these electrons gives you a 7.3 pH, which is our God-given pH level that we all have at birth.